Inspiration is a tricky thing. Well, pretty much everything alt related on I'm talking about on my channel is tricky, at least for me, because I sometimes cannot find the right words to make myself clear. But with inspiration, you cannot really choose if something inspires you or not. Maybe today it's not inspiring, but two days from here it does inspire you a lot. You cannot really force it, but it's really helpful to listen yourself and try to learn how you are feeling about the working, and rather than fighting against it, learn how to work with it. That's something that I have learned over the years. And it had really helped me to keep myself motivated and inspired. I do pretty much everything based on a feeling. Do I want to try something new, recreate something old better, or something easy just to name a few? After figuring out the feeling I have, I go to Pinterest, Tumblr or any picture field site. I usually search for different poses, expressions, uh, fantasy themes, forests, plants. And after finding few elements I like, I start to combine them. And while I'm doing that, I am trying to create a story. Why is this element included? How are they feeling about it? what colors would suit the best for the mood, and so on and so forth. To me, creating a story, even just a small one, is really important, and for creating a story, you need to use small elements and you need to try to combine them. When I'm struggling with the story part, I usually search for symbolistic meaning of certain elements. Like, what does a certain flower mean, or what certain crystal means, and stuff like that. I also watch series and movies and listen to music. And those times after finishing them, or like finishing after one episode, I'm trying to figure out how they made me feel, and what did I enjoy about them. I am so eager trying something different every time, and the drive to learn something new keeps me going and helps me to stay motivated. So usually I want to try different face features, mix different color combinations I haven't used, or do a complex pose that I will struggle a lot doing. I do have my lazy days of not wanting to create something complex, and for that I usually take a photo of myself and use it as a reference when painting, and then just add few random things here and there. Or just sketch something that doesn't really mean anything. But they might become really important pictures to me. But the reason why I make them is just to keep on creating. That is the drive and the feel I have for them. 
they usually are really simple pictures. They can seem rushed because to me, they are just a kickstart for something bigger. Searching for inspiration can be a really tiring process, and it's okay to take a break once in a while. It's totally okay. After we got a puppy and going quiet walks with him, it has helped me to appreciate quietness and everything around me. I have always loved nature, but I have never really found time for myself to go and walk and appreciate that we have forests and plants and trees and and during our walks I might see something that suddenly gives me an idea. With this piece, I wanted to recreate something old. And I chose my Swamp Girl from just a few years back. That time I rushed it, I wanted just to make it and be done. Now that I'm more comfortable with digital painting, I wanted to see how much better can I do it. Still inspired by swamps, I also wanted to incorporate cloudberries, their color and the flowers. Using these, I got myself a color palette green, orange, and white. The eyes have the cloudberries color, the hair is inspired by the swamp where they grow, and the flowers are just the same white ones. I put the flowers so that the eye is guided by them in a zigzag form up to down. I thought that she would be kind of like the berry's protector or something. If you will try to destroy the swamp area, she will just get up from there and just pull you down. Kind of like a swamp siren or something. That's all I have for this video. I want to know how do you get inspired and or stay inspired and motivated. And if you have any topic ideas you want to hear me discuss, um, just let me know. Or if you have any questions about my work, I'm, I would be even more than happy to answer. Uh, I want to try to do more of these, but I have been lately kind of busy with all the commission work and my comic. But yeah, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and take care. <laughs>